Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install OpenVPN on your VPS with absolutely no DNS leak and no logs at all. All you have to do is go to this link down in the description and select your operating system. I'm going to be showing you how to install it on Ubuntu, Debian, and all of the other operating systems besides this OpenSUSE. Alright, now just select on your operating system and select what kind or what update you have. I'm going I have CentOS 6, so just right click and copy and link address. After that, you're gonna do wget and then paste in the link. It's gonna take a bit to download the file. After that, copy the file name. Now if you're on Ubuntu or Debian, you're gonna wanna do dpkg hyphen i and then paste in the file name. But I am on CentOS, so I'm going to be doing yum, not yum, rpm hyphen capital U V H, then paste in the file name. This also works on Red Hat as well. Alright, it's then going to download OpenVPN on to your VPS. It may take a minute or two, it depends on the speed of your VPS. Alright guys, after it's done downloading, you're going to have these two links. What you want to do is copy the admin link right here. And then paste it in to the URL. And you're going to get this message. Your connection is not private. Just click advanced and proceed to the IP address. Alright, after that's done, go back into your VPS and do pass wd openvpn to change the password of openvpn. Make it a secure password as people may try to brute force into your VPS. I also recommend installing brute force protection. After that's done, type in OpenVPN and then the password you have just made. Agree to the TOS. After that, you have the control panel. Just go to Advanced VPN and go to client config directives and type in block hyphen outside DNS then save settings after that update running software what this will do is it blocks DNS leaks alright since you've got that done go to the VPS and you are stalled out in the root folder right here but just make your way to user. Oh wait, I'm in the wrong VPS. Alright, connect to your VPS, the one. Yep. Okay, that's the wrong one again. Alright. Just connect to your uh, VPS. And then after you connect to it, you'll be in the root folder. And then go to user. Go to local. Go to open VPN as. Then go to Cedra, and you're gonna see these two config scripts here. Just drag them out to your desktop. All right. Then edit with Notepad++, and then you wanna see log DB. What you wanna do is just completely erase it. What that does is logs your data into a database, a local database which then we will delete that as well. Go to db folder and then see log.db right here. Just delete it. Now you have no logs. All right after that, just erase all the uh, slash admin right here and just go to your IP address without any slashes. Now you're gonna get this user login. Login with your account. You can use this on Android, iPhone, or any device that supports OpenVPN. Just click here to download, and it should download in about a minute, depends on your internet connection. Alright, after it's downloaded, click it, if it will download, alright, open it up, a uh, message is going to pop up, just Click yes. Alright. 
it's going to take a minute download there it is and a window should pop up down here it's going to say connecting using unverified profile just select yes all right now just saying I'm using a uh, two dollar VPS so I do not expect the speed to be astonishing or something I actually highly doubt it so uh, let's gonna do a speed test my guess is it's gonna be around 5 megabytes per second not bad ping though because it is located in the Netherlands not bad and not bad for a two dollar VPS I must say I was actually expecting only around 5 megabytes per second Alright, well this VPS is only two dollars so I'll show you uh, put a link down description to the VPS I bought and uh, let's just do an upload speed test as well it's around I guess 5 megabytes per second 5.3 I guess 5.9 oh alright so yeah uh, about 5.3 alright now let's do extended test on the DNS leak as you can see I am still connected alright now let's see if it finds my real IP address whoa that's a lot of IPs Okay, as you can see, it just finds Google's IP addresses. None of these IP addresses are my own IP addresses. As you can see, uh, yeah, I don't own Google none, so can't be my IP. And that's honestly all you do to make a VPN. That's all you have to do is get a VPS. And if you want to know where you can get this VPS, if I have it saved, I don't have it saved. But, that's right, I'll put a link down in the description to the website where you can get $2 VPSs, really cheap, and there should be this price. You can also get an offshore VPS, I'll put a link down to that as well. Uh, see you guys in my next video, like, subscribe, and share. See ya.